Today, I'm going to do one of my favorite videos that I do on this YouTube channel. I'm going to unbox packages that were sent to me from you, the subscribers, the followers, the supporters of my YouTube channel. So from time to time, people send me items to unbox on YouTube. It could be either you're sending me something that maybe you made, something you sell, you know, maybe a, a product that you sell on Etsy or something, or it could just be from a viewer, a subscriber who's sending me something to show support. Uh, sometimes people send me stuff they know I collect, and no matter what, I appreciate every package that I get. It is very, very generous. It's very nice of everybody. People ask me, how can I send you stuff? So if you're a company, you want to see your stuff unboxed on YouTube. If you're just a viewer, you want to send me an item, I leave a or I leave my UPS mailbox in the description box to all my videos. So below the video, underneath the title, you'll see like a little description box. Go down the box, you'll see like my eBay store, my Poshmark. Then you'll see like my UPS mail mailbox address. You can send anything to that that you that you want it opened up on YouTube channel. It's up to you. No pressure. Totally up to you. But these are all packages that I received from viewers. A total of three, four, five, six items. Let's go ahead. Let's just, let's just start cracking. So I won't say the person's name until I know for sure it is okay to say your name on YouTube. Because some people, you know, they don't want their name to be said. And we have a book. OCH Portrait of a Family. Oh, okay, this William Bradford Bishop Jr. was a successful army linguist and statesman living the American dream with his wife and three boys. Once his mother moves into his career homes. Oh, cool, so I got a book. I'm gonna check that out. I got a letter, it says Clint. My name is Nathan Fisher and I'm an aspiring cold case enthusiast. In 2016, my grandmother who was paralyzed from the chest down and her 93 year old husband had their house broken into by two drug addicts who continue to brutally murder them. Oh, I'm, that's terrible. I'm very, very sorry about that. After being found the next morning, a two-week manhunt pursued by the grace of God and tireless efforts of law enforcement, both parties were captured several states away. That's, that's good. I cannot explain the fear and uneasiness a person feels knowing there is someone out there who could take the life of a loved one. It makes you feel like you're next because you don't have a why or motive. My family received proper justice as both individuals responsible for this heinous crime were all found guilty and are current, currently behind bars serving life sentences. This experience caused me to research other murders only to find out that there are numerous families across the country that have never received proper justice. Since then, I have dedicated a huge part of my life towards researching cold cases across the country. I hope to one day be able to have a reality show to help document and enhance awareness and memorialize the victims of these crimes. It closes my first book on a legendary cold case that I have personally signed for you. It is available exclusively on Amazon. Love your content. Thank you for your service. Sincerely, Nathan Fisher. P.S. I'm a Brewers fan, so the Cubs... <laughs> Go Cubs! So that's awesome. So actually, I will try to find this book on Amazon. I'll leave a direct link down below so you can check it out. I'm, I'm definitely going to read this book. He said he signed it for me too. Clint, be aware of the monsters that be living amongst us. Much love. Next, let's do this box. It's intriguing me. We have Ditto, the Retro Pixel Art Portable Speaker. Oh, looks like this is sent to me. Looks like it must be from a company. This just says from the shipping department. That's all it says. This was sent to me by a company. Sometimes, like I said, companies send me items to unbox on YouTube. And lots of times, I don't even know what's coming. And it just shows up at my UPS store. And I pick it up. It says, Ultimate Music Experience. What this is all about. This looks like it's a little ar arcade thing. has a screen. It's got buttons on it. The Retro Pixel Art Portable Speaker. Pixel Art Portable Speaker, I appreciate this. Uh, super nice of you. And I will definitely have a little bit of fun trying to see what this thing actually does. But it says the ultimate music experience. Comes in a like a case. It's the company D-I-V-O-O-M is who makes it. Devoom. This is actually from... Indianapolis, Indiana, just right down the road from where I live. 
because I live kind of on the north side of the city. And this is from Orchard Park. Was that south side? We got an autographed CD. It says Bacon Brothers CD. Hi there, Clint. I'm sending you the CD out of your collection. I'm a part-time reseller right here in Indianapolis. Most of my items are books and video games sold via Amazon FBA. Occasionally, CDs and DVDs make their way through to me, and this one appears to be autographed. I'll let you have fun of looking up who it is. We have several things in common. Reselling, hard rock music, and a love of pro wrestling. Y2J. Feel free to reach out to me if you want to talk in your interest. Michael Barney Barnhart. So yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. White Knuckles, the Bacon Brothers. Oh, no way. Is that Kevin Bacon? I opened it up, and inside, it is like Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon's autograph? <laughs> if that is, that's super cool. Wow, I don't have anything signed by Kevin Bacon. So this will definitely go right into my collection. That's ultra cool. Next, let's do this package right here. This thing has, has some weight to it. This thing weighs uh, almost four pounds. This, this came all the way from Arkansas. Let's open this thing up. It says Stevie B Comics. It says hashtag foo is a furry. Hashtag foo is a furry. I'm not too sure what that means. Maybe we'll find out. Clint, my name is Stevie B. I'm a long time subscriber to your channel and yours is one of the channels that inspired me to start my own YouTube channel. I love watching the mystery box unboxing, so that is what I want to do on my channel. So in October, I started Stevie B Comics and I have had a blast. The comic book community on YouTube is like no other. I believe you even popped into the channel live show I did with Wink Inc. I also do a bi-weekly show every other Tuesday called The Mystery Men on Comic Foo 2814 channel. Check it out sometime, I'll check it out. But enough rambling, I've curated a special comic book mystery box with you in mind. It has a lot of things you have mentioned in your videos that you like. This is my way of welcoming you into our amazing comic book YouTube community and also to serve as a thank you for playing a part and inspiring me to start my own channel. I hope you like the books and they find a nice home in your collection. Always remember if you watch our content that hashtag foo is a furry. Sincerely, Stevie B. I'm not too sure what foo is a furry means, so I have to uh, do some research find what that means because I'm not too sure. Oh, here is his business card. Stevie B Comics comic book collector content creator find him on youtube at stevie b comics yeah i'll check you out on youtube check out some of your videos and check out your uh live stream so we have a comic book mystery box you know i love my mystery boxes but here we go first one we got ridley pearson super sun special edition not for sale promotional only very cool i love my batman i love my supermans that is for sure Super cool. Next we have Marvel Comics Crypt of Shadows number one. Variant edition. I don't know much about this one. But I like my, my number ones. Everybody knows I collect the number ones of comics. This one is actually autographed. Age of X-Men Alpha number one. Back of it has a chip of authenticity on it. it says... Certificate of Authenticity, Midtown Comics is issued the certificate to authenticate the signature of Zach Thomas and Lonnie Nadler. This copy of Age of X-Men Alpha number one, signed at Midtown Comics. Super cool, thank you so much. I collect autographs. I will be keeping this in my collection. That's awesome. Next we have another signed comic. Superman Man of Steel number one. It says this was signed by June Brigman and... Roy Richardson, dual signed. How cool is that? One stop comic shop autograph. Awesome. We have another autograph comic, The Uncanny Inhumans, number one. I collect my autograph comics. This says Unha Uncanny Inhumans, number 15, was signed by Jeff Deacle. One stop comic shop.com. Another autograph comic. Yes, you got my mystery box perfect for me. I collect number ones. I collect autographs. This is perfect. Strange Adventures, number one. Next, we have Marvel Comics presents Cyclops vs. the Minions of the Master World 
first appearance of damage control new stand variant super cool I love my Marvel everybody knows that about me I love my Marvel straight to my collection X Factor number one first appearance of Rusty Collins freaking awesome another one straight to my collection we have this is wild dog first appearance super cool another one <laughs> i love my first appearances love my autographs love my number ones mike grill green arrow the long bow continues first appearance of Sha shadow shadow another first appearance number one Next we have Dread, One Shot, the comic book sequel to the critically acclaimed movie, Dread. Super cool movie, was this, this probably was not the Sylvester Stallone, this was probably the newer one it was made after, I bet. We've got Marvel Super Heroes, Secret Wars, Variant Edition, number two, super cool, it has like, a, like an old school look to it, I like that one. Next we got Fantastic Four, we got a Variant Edition number one. I love my Marvel. Everybody knows that about me. I always say that. And another Fantastic Four number 14. Immortal Variant. Super cool. That was a good mystery box. I had a lot of stuff in there I collect. From autographs to number one issues to first appearances. A lot of Marvel. Yeah. Thank you so much, Stevie B. I appreciate it. So let's check out Stevie B Comics on YouTube. We got two left. This one it looks like it has like one small thing in it. We got some Pokemon cards. Dear Clint, I was watching your channel, especially when you do mystery box. We recently saw you doing some trading card mystery boxes. I would like to recommend you some Pokemon card mystery boxes or something of the sorts. I sent you this to sort of show you what you of what they are and what you can get. So we've got some Pokemon cards. So go ahead, let's crack them open. Let's see what they are and what we can get. So Bryce, thank you so much, I appreciate it. So we have like a little Pokemon token in this one. Probably something to do with the Pokemon game. We have a foil looking Terra Keon card, Pokemon. We have one pack right here, this is the Cosmic Eclipse Sun and Moon. I have never in my life opened up a pack of Pokemon cards. My first ever pack of Pokemon. I'm 40. <laughs> never done a pack of Pokemon in my life. So that's what we're looking at. Aeopom. Onyx. Tapig. Sandshrew. Snorrent. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Ooh, that was kind of a foil looking card. Victini. With like a foil look to it. Glee, Energy, Hakamomo or something, Heridare, and Saleo. So that was my first ever pack of Pokemon cards. So yeah, super cool. So Bryce, thank you so much for my first ever pack of Pokemon cards. Last item, I have a big tube that says, for a horror unboxing. Intrigued to see what is in this. You got this label top right here. Okay. Inside the tube. Careful because this thing open, just in case. Let me just let me just tear the tape off. That'll probably be safer. Just tear it. See so what we got for a horror unboxing. There's a letter on the back of this. It says, Franchise Kicks. What you're looking at is literally the entire Friday the 13th original screenplay handwritten from beginning to end in chronological order. Using only the words themselves to construct an image of our slasher king overlord, Sir Jason Voorhees. To me, 27 hours of handwriting drawing 98 pages with countless number of beers in between. I did this to commemorate the 40th anniversary and chose to go with the grown up hockey mask version because I'm celebrating the franchise through its roots. I sell 18x24 reproduction prints at www.wallofwordsart.com. Make sure to leave that down below in the description box. And your viewers can get 30% off with the code FRANCHISE, would make for a great gift or collector's item. Really hope you dig it and keep it the awesome work. Travis White. 
So what do we have? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. That is awesome. How is that made? What you're looking at is literally the entire Friday the 13th original screenplay handwritten from beginning to end in chronological order using only the words themselves to construct an image of her slasher king, Jason Voorhees. Okay, that's actually very, very awesome. How cool is that? I really like that. I'm going to check out your website, see what you have for sale, see what's available. That is incredible. So, like, it's made up of, like, words. Make up the actual Jason Voorhees hockey mask. How cool is that? So, yeah. www.wallofwordsart.com Use code FRANCHISE for 13% off Friday the 13th. Yeah, that is super cool. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's... That's really awesome. I'm a huge Jason Voorhees fan. My favorite slasher flick franchise of all time actually is Friday the 13th. So everybody who, who sent me stuff this time, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Everything here was very, very generous, very nice. I appreciate everything from viewers to companies, subscribers. Thank you so much. Anybody who's ever sent me stuff in the past, the present or future, once again, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I have some of the best subscribers in the world. I really appreciate it. So I'll see you next time with some more mystery box unboxings. I'm out.